in that part of the book. That area really gets its tornadoes in May and June. That's actually the peak of tornado season. Tornado Alley is in a unique geographical position. It's the nexus of where three distinct air masses converge. That's a warm, humid air mass from the Gulf of Mexico, a desert dry air mass from the desert southwest, and with cold Canadian air. And those all are smashing into each other and creating fronts. And along those fronts, you can get thunderstorms, which then sometimes can produce tornadoes. Jacqueline and other storm chasers have been what die die? What diamond? Oh, baby girl. Just 40 miles from El Rio. I was so drained. I had seen some awful stuff. And I just wanted to go home. I was ready. I was done. I was done with my storm chase. But as she monitors weather data, information suggests that the tornado activity isn't over yet. All the parameters were in place for a tornado day. The vast majority of days when tornadoes occur start off as beautiful, sunny, hot, warm, humid, gorgeous days. The sun heats the ground. The ground then in turn heats the air. As we know, hot air wants to rise up. So now you've got this instability in the atmosphere. And as the day progresses, that instability...